Before we can enable the task controller, we have to make sure our display has the relevant activation code. In the home screen, press on the toolbox soft key. Once in the toolbox screen, scroll through the tabs to the right until you reach the activations tab. Task controller should show as activated. If not, you will need to unlock this before you can proceed. Refer to the display activations tutorial video for information on how to do this. Once you've verified the task controller feature is activated, scroll left and select TC or task controller tab in the bottom bar. In the TC setup screen, change the task controller from not installed to installed. After you change this, the display will do a power cycle. Return back to the TC setup screen after it restarts. Once you are back in the TC setup screen, go to the auto resume window. With this enabled, it will allow the task controller to automatically resume a task after each display power cycle. If it's not enabled, the operator will have to manually resume the task before they can restart each time. The TC operation mode should default to advanced. In most cases, it should be left as advanced. There is also a section only mode available. Section only gives us a simplified task controller setup and user interface. It doesn't use the normal grower farm field structure to record data or store AB lines. It is ideal for lower accuracy situations where new guidance lines are recorded for each operation and where data keeping isn't required. The on-screen coverage map is simply cleared at the end of each operation. If record keeping is not important, you can disable it here. This will save on the amount of space that is taken on the display's USB device. The tractor type and hitch information windows are used to set the distance from the GPS receiver to the implement's mounting point on the tractor. We don't have to enter anything here anymore as it is now covered in the TC setup wizard. The TC task mode allows us to pause a task that is currently running. This is usually used to check nozzles or some other use where you don't want to log any other as applied data or have section control or RX control interfere with what you are doing. You can add a separate TC task mode soft key to any run screen for the operator's convenience. If creating ISOBUS compatible ISO XML data isn't important, then you can disable it here. With it disabled, the display will save all new data only to its proprietary .cn1 folder on the USB device. Return back to the home screen once you are done making any changes.